Hi everyone, it's Dave from RVO. I'm going to explain to you today about two steps and trans brakes used in conjunction. So as we know um, from my last video, a, a trans brake will actually put the transmission in forward and reverse at the same time. So we can load the turbo, load the converter and produce some power without translating that to the back wheels. And the two step is the engine RPM limiter. Now the reason we use them both together is so uh, instead of trying to modulate the boost level with the throttle, uh, we can actually just restrict it by engine RPM. So, say we try to launch it at um, 14 pounds of boost, we could actually probably spin the wheels even though it's got slicks, but at 10 pounds of boost it takes off uh, perfectly. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll try um, the trans brake first, we'll see how much boost we get to and what sort of RPM we get to, and then we'll try the two step which is actually restricting the RPM to 3500. So we'll fire it up. Okay. Now I'm going to put the trans brake on. So trans brake's engaged. So we'll watch what sort of stall speed we get. Then so push that to 5,000. The boost. pounds of boost. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to um, show you the two-step. Got a two-step restricting the power at So it's flat to the floor with the two-step on, so it's been restricted at three and a half thousand. So now, I'm going to put the trans brake and the two-step on. So trans brake on, two-step on. So now the tram brakes on, so we're not moving, so we're holding forward and reverse at the same time. And now I'm going to watch the boost.